Charles coming out. Look at that. Karens, you either love them or you hate them, and you may be asking yourself, why another Karen video? Well, you guys obviously liked the last one so much, I just had to give you another. But today, we're going to be looking at more Karens, so keep the manager on speed dial, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Target that can tell me to go to Let's your go. office, you because to you just woefully got me out of the plane. I understood, like three words that they just said like they're both talking over each other and it's really distracting i don't i can't understand who's talking when i, I can sue you I so you get your get your manager that said it's okay office, oh, so right? get your manager to so sit right here and tell me you know what you need to get away yeah mr manager why don't you just uh sit right here and 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 tell me that i need to leave this airport T come on, tell me, tell me. Come take a seat. No, I wasn't asking you to take a seat. I was telling you to take a seat. Take a seat right now. Yeah. I'm giving you a lawful no. command. It's okay. You want to... Listen, listen. Failure to comply, it's going to be charging with resisting. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm pregnant, and I can shoot right. this shit out. Right, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm in pain. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. I'm it's fucking licking. Yeah, I'm yeah, licking. Yeah, yeah. I'm licking. I'm licking. Oh my god, I think I'm losing my baby. I'm losing my baby. I'm fucking losing. I like how this guy just got up and just walked away. He was not having anything to do with her crying and whining. Like, forget Andrew Tate is top G. This guy's top G. Because my guy really just said. My baby. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. I'm losing my baby. This is a spirit and fucking the airline losing. I'm losing my baby. I'm losing my baby. Oh my god. Oh, you fucking hit me. You don't see my child coming. No, I uh I actually don't see your child. So uh shut up. I'm losing my baby. I'm losing my baby. Oh my god. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna say it. That Karen probably has the most annoying voice I've ever heard. I've heard many Karens and many voices throughout my multiple years of living, but I feel like that was the most annoying I have ever heard. Yeah, lady. This is yeah, watch me. Security. Watch me, I dare you. Security. Why is this woman screaming like that? She sounds like she is someone's grandma. She also looks like the vegan teacher for some odd reason. She looks, she looks very, very close to the vegan teacher. Watch me, I dare you. Security. 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 Yeah. Security. Yeah. I'm going to please someone help. Bro, please back up from that woman. You are so close. You are inhaling every single hair molecule that she has accumulated in her 78 plus years of living. Like you are you are inhaling that. You are you are not taking any breaks to breathe. You are all <sighs> <sighs> me. Stop following us. Someone help me. Psycho. Please. Is there anybody in the store here? I t Nobody has the fucking I'm sorry. Sorry. Just leave us alone. Just go away, lady. Sorry. Is there anybody that can help me? Oh my god, get the fuck away from me. Uh, oh yeah. So, uh, yeah, terrified, but you won't walk away from me. Jesus fucking Christ. Why did you swear at oh me? Oh my god, get the fuck away from me. Get away from us, lady. Oh. Honestly, how are you gonna get scared that they are screaming at you and swearing, but you're literally following them? Just walk away. If you just leave them alone, they'll stop talking to you. And they'll probably just tell their friends or family that you were being annoying and you were like harassing them. This is ridiculous. This is Canada. This isn't even America. Why are you following me? Yeah. You're so scared, just leave, lady. Why? Why are you scared? Can you make her get the fuck away from me? She's an ignorant bitch. Why are 
Yeah, she just went with me around the store screaming. She's been doing this. She wouldn't leave us alone. Do you know her? No. She does not know me. Okay. Thank God somebody separated them when they did, because if they didn't separate them soon, she would have shivered so much that her visible rib cage would have fallen off of her body. I'm literally shaking right now because I came to a restaurant to shoot content, and they just discriminated against me and told me that I'm not allowed to sit down and eat food because I don't have a vaccine card. And I'm just beside myself at the fact that these people right here can say that it's not discrimination. What do you call that? All right, two things. One, these people who are hostess and hosts, they are probably like 17 to 19, and they don't get paid enough to deal with you. They get paid probably below minimum wage. Two, you don't even know what discrimination means, do you? Because, I mean, I think you need to pick up an urban dictionary because I am about 27% sure that you may know what it means uh yeah but the other 83 percent i am 100 percent sure you don't know what it means you're trying to do your job everybody's trying to do their job do you understand what happened in the 1940s in nazi germany whoa 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 let's not bring funny man into this funny man didn't do anything well he he funny man funny man did something but uh he has nothing to do with this conversation leave funny man out of this when people had to pull out cards there I'm not happy about this either. it's discrimination yeah get a manager because i'm i have a large following on my account and i'm putting this place on blast this it's absolutely ridiculous absolutely ridiculous you think that i'm gonna sit here and allow you to discriminate against me and not say something and not get loud about it and you're just doing your job? Unbelievable. Everybody's just doing their job. Nobody has balls. Actually, I have plenty of balls right here, but uh, I will not be sharing them. I'm not going to step outside. I'm waiting for the manager. Good. Bring the manager. This is absolutely ridiculous. And then to say that it's not discrimination is absolutely more ridiculous. I'm literally shaking right now. So I came out because I wanted to shoot some content for one god. And I came here to have some lunch. And then I was going to shoot some content. I was told that this type of place was open. This is the first time that I've been discriminated against since they started this jab card thing. And I don't go out into public because of it. And I came in here and they told me that I can't sit down and I can't have lunch. Honestly, lady, sounds like a you problem that you're not vaccinated. And before we continue this video, I have a special guest, Grimson, who will be presenting the rest of these awful Karens. You know what, you need to fucking relax with your little attitude. She just fucking assaulted me. You just assaulted me. You just assaulted me. You took my phone. Shut the fuck you up. You just assaulted You're me. You're just a little fucking bitch. Yo, you just assaulted me. Oh, I assaulted you. Ugh. You just assaulted me. You literally snatched my phone from me. Are you your fucking attitude? Are you kidding me? You driving a G-Wagon and you act like this? This is how the rich act? The person recording sounds like 12, so I have no idea why some grown woman is harassing a 12-year-old for having an attitude or something. Uh, I have no idea why anybody would think it was okay to harass anybody for an attitude, maybe talk calmly or something. This is how the rich act? I have your license plate, you fucking idiot! Uh, no, hit me! Bro, get in someone, your car and grow up. Can someone call the cops? For like, what? can someone call the cops? Like, what? what the you fuck? Have a fucking attitude because you're spoiled? You're the one in a fucking G-Wagon! And I work my ass up too, yeah, bitch! Yeah, I need medical too! Shut the fuck up, you little fucking idiot! Oh, you act like that with your daughter in the car? That's real nice. So you're being a Karen with your daughter in the car. Grow up, Mini Karen Jr. My husband says he's upset with me because in his words, Sweetie, you need to stop spending so much money on DoorDash. Ordering it three times a day is not appropriate and we need to start living within our means. Honey, it sounds like you have an income problem, not that I have a spending problem. 
Number one, don't make fun of your husband's pay. Number two, you're going to die from eating Grubhub or DoorDash, whatever you said every day. Um, start earning more money and we won't have these issues. So I took his credit card that we share and I booked a vacation for my daughter Richard and I. We're staying in a hotel tonight and I hope he enjoys that I charged $8,000 to his credit card. First of all, the daughter's name is Richard, and second of all, why would she steal his credit card if she knew he had income problems? Neighbor is a Karen, but your three-year-old niece has your back. Let me talk to you. Nobody is supposed to park there. This is my auntie. I don't care who it is. There's no parking in front of these apartments. And she can do whatever she wants because she's my auntie. Oh, well, that's just tough, lady. Let come. Good on that kid for standing up for her aunt. Respect. They can't breathe because of the dust or something. I don't know. But go home. Go. Don't turn around. Go. Go. Is that guy driving a four-wheeler on the road? What? What do you want? What do you want? Who let you ride here? Joe, let me ride here. Joe Mama! Joe Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Grimson, for going through the pain of having to wash those Karens for us. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you decide you hate me.